Okay, this is the third time, third moment of me needing to delete space to keep on recording, which is okay. Because basically what I'm saying by, I'm really powerful, you need to get out of my way, that I respect everybody, that we're all equal, is that you need to understand what's going on right now. From my perspective, what I understand is that basically the beings that are here now, that are human, have ever been human, or ever choose to be human, are going to be the linking from the light to the dark. Yes, there is balance, and there's both, you work with both. But once you create a being of light and have them be light first, you also, in that balancing, or balanced, created this link, the habit, as a thought is a being just like me and you, to a certain level, they just start. But, like I said, if you create a light being like that, then you also create a dark being that's only no dark, that's always done this, that's working to integrate, to balance that light aspect. Um, so in a way, that's why you're here to understand that, to have a really good memory and how to bring forth the linking of the light to the dark, or the dark to the light. What not, what not. Um, so in that sense, this is kind of the first time, moment ever, 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 ever. And believe me, if you're an infinite being, first time ever, you really don't get that that often. <laughs> Truly, you don't get that that often. Um, <laughs> but, being that I'm here, finding and reshaping and understanding and taking the undertaking of the understanding of what it means to be that link, as to you to you, as the same, basically it means I am powerful because this is the first time this is happening and I'm, I'm basically writing and structuring and forming what the blueprint is so when you're one that hasn't been here can look it over can be okay with understanding what it means to assist the other ones kind of thing or taking the understanding of the undertaking of what it means to have them so that's what i mean and the simplest way of saying get out my way i'm powerful i don't need to tell you what's going on or i don't need to basically give me space so that I don't get stifled or bring forth an injury, punching him in the face, um, knocking him through the wall. It's kind of what I'm doing or would be doing if I didn't inform them. Because um, if you've ever seen Twilight, you know how in when you first born as a vampire, you're the most powerful ever that you're ever going to be. Because you still have that human blood and whatnot. But that's basically what's going on. Not to say that your power is ever really going to dwindle down. Ever. Because you never can not become something. You only can perceive so that you can understand and, and, and a holding a lesson and whatnot. But you can never stop being as that powerful. You can only ever become more powerful. Um... But with the power also becomes wisdom and gratified and humble. Um, that's why it's also, that's one reason, going with the flow, that's one reason why I have to, third time, third moment of re-recording, or not re-recording, continue recording after deleting something. I guess I should say the second time of that. The third video of the continue of it, whatnot. But, because if you go back to the other parts, you can see how intense I'm doing it. And even though I said I wasn't doing it from 
an egotistical view. It could have came off as I was. But you see from now, from this perspective, that I'm very calm and centered and balanced. I'm, my words are more soothing and how I'm structuring them, informing them. More of the energy, not necessarily word, um, kind of thing. Because yes, you can get very passionate about something and basically shoving somebody's head in the wall. Because if they're not ready to listen, then really. But obviously, if you got this far in this video, aren't you ready to listen and understand something? Give me a moment. <laughs> I need some water. Crystals in your water will make the water emulate the crystals. So it's like you're drinking the crystal, but you're really not. And it makes the water taste a lot more pure and more um, delectable. But, like I was saying, uh, bless me. I took a really, really intensified, Christian thorough, maximized warmth bath or soaking, and I was able to, yes, give those beans the understanding of what it is and where my placement is and how I'm going to shape it and how this is all going to play out, um, and bringing forth the people that I feel that are particular that possibly, I'm not quite sure, but I'm understand, from my understanding that it is them and it's not them, it's both of the seen and the unseen the scene being that the what the the beings that have been a human are being human now to the unseen the ones that have never been a human that have been a human but aren't here anymore um that I took them and I said I want you to do this now free will and all because that's something highly Highly, I will never ever give them up my free will. That's what makes me so powerful too. Because um, if it doesn't resonate with me, it's not going down. I'm not doing it unless I find the perspective of what it can be to show me and whatnot. In that sense, I'm not really giving up my free will or my power. I'm just playing a different role to learn, receive, and have a hold of viewpoint of it. But I said to them, do this, go through this door, have this gift kind of thing. Because that's basically what I have done. I have given them the gift of, exp of expression of deepness. Because once you understand that you are a creator and that you're infinite, all you really ever do is seek to ask, ask that question, answer that question, what am I? I am what? What is my part? Pretty much. What can I do? Who am I? Kind of thing. And forever you will be answering that question. But in the sense of... That's why you took this role. A viewpoint of reception of limitations when you're a limitless being. That knows everything. But then you don't. Perspective, perspective, balance. Um, but, so I, I offered that to them. And so that's what happened. And I did do that. Because um, it's your imagination. How you interpret everything. Because um, you got to take it in. And then express it out. Kind of thing. Or is it really just everything is within and you're projecting it out. Even though, well, in this reality, in this perception of Earth, that's what it is. Your, it's a 360 degree mirror. But so I did that. Um, that hot bath. Usually I would be very patient 
of being in the hot water. Because how often do you really just sit there in the hot water? It's not not that often. Maybe a blue moon kind of thing. Um, but I went with the flow, like like it's most preferable to do, at least to me. Um, I let the drain, water drain. I, I sit there and let the water drain. I experience it all. I take a full effect in it. Because why else? Why not? Why not? Why not? It's like fully being in the moment kind of thing. Um, you know how much you miss out, basically, when you don't, you're not in the moment? When you're thinking of, of tomorrow, when you're in today? That's why I say when... Like, I'm, I've been attempting to watch a movie... And it always seems to come on the next day. And my friend was like, I'll, I'll, I will, I'll, um, reminder it for you. And I'm like, okay, well, that's nice of you to say thank you for thinking of me. But really, I don't, I, practically, I don't care because it's tomorrow. It's not now kind of thing. Um. <laughs> but so I took a I let the water drain out and I took my moment in getting my grounds because what I did was I expanded my energy so much outbursted it to understand in deepness of what I can be how powerful and what I am to shape it and whatnot for I can see it and yes, for everybody else to see it too, and their understanding of it, what's going down and whatnot. Um, but considering I did, I needed to let my energy build back up, because it wasn't just like me taking little, like an inch out of a yard of my energy, like I was saying when I ran. That um, so I then took a really cold shower. Like, it was cold. It probably would have been Arctic, but since I just soaked myself in a lava bath, it was not Arctic kind of thing, which felt really good. I felt really nice. Like, my skin feels awesome and awesome. And also, I used Dove. Dove White. Um, that is awesome. Makes a difference. But going from draining all those impurities out of me, opening up eye pores, to... Then, um, closing them back up, but it's, I'm not quite sure how to explain that part, and I don't want to. Um, okay, I do know how, but I don't want to. Um, um, because I don't limit myself, and if you limit yourself, then da 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 da. But I choose not to limit myself, so I know how to do everything, and I can do everything. Um, it's part about claiming your power and whatnot, um, because if nothing's ever broken, if it can get fixed, if it can be fixed, then it's never broken. Because everything's happening now, and then, since everything's happening now, that's an infinite moment, and da 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 Okay. So. I've stabilized myself to the point where I can focus back this vessel and control it in a little more preferable sense. Um, and I got in that shower, and I started channeling, channel, channeling. For those who don't know what channeling is, it's basically allowing the other beings, like Archangel Michael or Gabriel or Yishmael or Albert Einstein or Mother Mary or Magda, Mother Magdalene or Lady Portia or Saint Germain, are more of the popular ones, or the more known ones, I should say, in that sense. Just around the nodalities of what it means to be that, fully that space and understanding and whatnot. But, there are the people that channel the ones that I just speak, spoke of, um, and say it in this way. They might have an accent and have it really funny, and da 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 da. But, my channeling was of beings that don't speak English, basically. Ones that have never been human. 
so they would never understand how to speak human, how to speak English, basically. So, taking it from the perspective that I was that expression, I understand how to talk like them. So they don't need to know how to talk like me. But if they're in my head, it's telepathy, so all they have to do is send a message of a picture, and I react with the picture as well. That's what telepathy is, in a way. You also do words, too, but when you don't understand their language, that's how you do it. But because I understood their language, because I was that version of the expression, I was able to talk like them. Um, and let's just say they got a really good chakra. And how did the, in, the channeling go? Interpretation of it? Oh! <laughs> kind of a thing. Did you understand that? Are those sounds and tones that you can you can hear on a regular basis? Yes. Yes. So, you do talk like them. They do talk like us. But... But... Um, and that was basically... And I'm going to take the interpretation of that they are really cold beans. Or they prefer the cold. Because every time I went into the cold water, it, I felt more happier. Could just because I don't... Maybe it's just different beans and whatnot, but I'm, I'm under, I know that there are more than one bean. I was telling more than one bean. Um, but, um, so I got done with it, and I decided to make this video. Because I just wanted to, um, like I said, working out, energy, and channeling. And that's basically the order I did it in. Because I gave you play by play. Now if you have made it this far in this video, you need to ask yourself, if you haven't, why have I seen this, why am I watching this video? And why is he talking about this stuff? Because everything happens for a reason. It's not just a coincidence. You probably have a part to play and this is your wake-up call. So wake up. Ask yourself. Take it step by step. Because truly, when you understand that it's step by step, because it comes down by perception of viewpoint to every individual expression of what a being can be, a life form, of the gift of life, holding that, a being that brings forth the being the being, bringer of their being, interpretation of what it is, life, and everybody as a free will kind of thing. I understand that there are places that don't have free will, but with it breaking down to the ones that have the free will, they have to be willing to go through and hold that perspective. That's why there's the ones that will never have be human, all physical form, because they never prefer, because they're holding the space, so they never prefer to do that. So, and another tidbit of information, the ones that are here to be human, you're not a weak one. You know how the whole, the weakest part, the weakest link is the strongest link? Let's just say you're the strongest link to that weak link. Even though everything's balanced and equal and gratified and humble and all that. Your uniqueness, you, you are unique. You're, there's no other being like you. But being a being, like you can go swimming in sand and learn how to swim in sand. Eventually, you're going to learn how to swim. But just jumping into the water, you're going to learn how to swim regardless. Like that versus that sand. The sand is the, high, is the higher dimensions where you're not physical, where you have no limitation. 
The water is a lower dimension. You have limitation. Being a limitless being, you have to understand how to work with those limitations. And once you go to the higher ones, you fully understand what it means to have respect and be equal and be gratified and humbled by the ones that are holding the space to do that. And you understand why you're so strong. Because you chose to have limitations when you're limitless. Because once you're higher and you can do anything, that's one reason also. December 21st, 2012, didn't go blasting off. Because, yes, it was the perception of what is collective, of what is free will choice, of what what is wanted. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. That doesn't mean what people perceive that they really want isn't going to go on. Um, the more you do something, the longer it's going to take to undo it or to change yourself. To take, since your energy, you don't die. You always move on. You always keep moving. Basically, you can be a porcupine and deny everything, or you could take your energy and be whole. But what I'm getting at is you got to take that building block or that perspective of viewpoint, take it and put it here. Because you always have to place yourself somewhere. Even though you're a multi-dimensional being, whatnot, you still got to take your energy and place it somewhere else. Or be gifted and accept that of the building block and place it and then move up on the ladder of your wall, whatnot. But it's easy to look down on someone when you're here and you have this perspective and you can do whatever you want, or you're really strong and they're really weak. Very easy to. Ask yourself, truly, really, what is it? What is it that you want? Because you'll get it. It may take a moment, but you'll get it. It's really belief, the law of attraction, all that. Because when I wake up or bring myself to this perspective, bless me, bless you, that. I may open my eyes, but then I shut them back. But mostly I keep my eyes shut and say, today, this is what I'm going to get out of today. Because that being that I also watched, said, you need to ask them to put that barrier around you. It's more preferable and understandable to trick your body with working out, to work with energy. He also said, since you can deplete yourself, that you're never going to stop depleting, you're never going to stop existing, you're just going to deplete yourself until you have to work back up the energy to do something else, or to be more focused on doing that the other thing, is that you got to place your energy, your intent, your willingness to understand and to go through that of what is it you want? Your viewpoint. What is your space that you're holding? And what do you prefer to learn that day? But I'm going to go. Because this is a pretty long video. I know. And don't be shocked if you do find out. If you do realize how powerful you are. Because believe me. If you find out how powerful you are, or you realize, or you accept how powerful you are, your whole world, the whole universe, your infinity, because that's basically what you are in control of, is an infinity. Because you're infinite. I do suggest watching this video at least two to three times, three moments, because there's a lot, 
and you're going to take a perspective from a different perspective that's going to invalidate that first perspective to invalidate the second perspective but to validate the first perspective and so on be love be light understand that there's more to life than what is in the scene for there is always the unseen. Think about it. 